In this video, I want to talk about a problem I was having with a Model 20. Um, on the left here is how this Model 20 was stitching. Now this particular Model 20 is the one that has the handle that had broken off and I'm holding it on there. Um, I've got it shoved back in there and it's held in place with a product. Um, this is the generic brand called Permatex thread locker, but it's, um, the brand name is Loctite. And what it does is it's a little compound that you can put on the nut, and um, I mean the bolt, and it holds it to the wheel. Now, I want to use this machine because the next time the Loctite gives out, I want to try and get one of the replacement knobs off of eBay and see what it's like to replace a knob on one of these. But in the meantime, um, here I started to use the machine and it was stitching as you see on the left. Now I may have mentioned this before in an earlier Model 20 video, but this is really bad. And no matter what length I put the stitch length regulator, it was doing that. Um, and this is what it looked like underneath on the left. So if you're seeing that kind of a problem with your Model 20, I can tell you how to fix it. Um, underneath, you see, those are all the workings, there is a flat gear. This, um, my finger is on the gear right there that has a screw right here. And that screw really is just supposed to hold it in place so that the gear can freely move. So when you turn it, you see how that gear goes front to back? And what that does is it attaches to the feed dogs and moves the fabric. And so if that gear is not working correctly, the fabric can't move and the stitches pile up like that. And because they're piling up, they can't even make. Those are probably accurate stitches, but they're so close together that there's no room for the chain to stretch out. So here is what it's stitching like now, and I had the tension a little tight. And that's the underside. So all I did and this should not have happened with this machine. Um, normally, this bed gets loose once in a while, and I have to tighten these screws every once in a while. But normally, once this is working, it shouldn't fall out of adjustment. And um, I can un pull the thread out, and I can show you what it does. See how it moves forward and back? And all I had to do was loosen it, which, again, this should not over tighten, and I don't over tighten them, but somehow this got tightened to that point, and you'll see that gear, well, now, wouldn't you know, now it's working. It was barely working a moment ago. And it wasn't stuck. I had already oiled it. I had already done all of that. So something, either the way I handled the machine or something I did had this over tighten. And see, now it is tightening again. So it could even be with use. It tends to tighten. But you want to make sure that that gear at the bottom can freely move. So if you're getting all kinds of um, overly tight, loopy on the bottom stitches on a Model 20, then that's what you have to check.